Good morning and welcome to today's devotion for Friday, November 29th, 2019. And today's devotion is titled, The Figure of a Siege. And today we'll be reading the chapter 4 in the book of Ezekiel. And we'll be following up what we finished in chapter 3 yesterday. So as you remember yesterday in chapter 3, Ezekiel was sent out to the nation of Israel to preach the word of God. And he went into that knowing that he was facing a rebellious people that more than likely were not going to be too accepting of Ezekiel's message. But nonetheless, God sent him out well equipped and knowing that he had God's authority and God's power behind his message. So we continue the story now in chapter 4. Thou also, son of man, take thee a tile and lay it before thee and portray upon it the city, even Jerusalem, and lay siege against it and build a fort against it, and cast a mount against it, and the camp also against it, and set battering rams against it round about. Moreover, take thou unto thee an iron pan, and set it for a wall of iron between thee and the city, and set thy face against it, and it shall be besieged, and thou shalt lay siege against it. This should be a sign to the house of Israel." Lie also upon thy left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon it, thou shalt bear their iniquity. For I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of the days, three hundred and ninety days, so shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on thy right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. Therefore thou shalt set thy face toward the siege of Jerusalem, and thine arms shall be uncovered, and, shall, and thou shalt prophesy against it. And behold, I will lay bands upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another, till thou hast ended the days of thy siege. Take thou also unto thee wheat, and barley, and beans, and lentils, and millet, and fitches, and put them in one vessel, and make thee bread thereof, according to the number of the days thou shalt lie upon thy side. Three hundred and ninety days shalt thou eat thereof. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight, twenty shekels a day, from time to time thou shalt eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of him, a hen, from time to time shalt thou drink. And thou shalt eat as the barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with the dung that cometh out of man in their sight. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Then said I, Ah, Lord God! Behold, my soul hath not been polluted, for from my youth up and even until now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, or is torn in pieces, neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. Moreover he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be astoned one with another and consume away for their iniquity. Our devotion reads, Many people have seen different videos put together by state police agencies that are designed to prevent certain types of unsafe driving. Basically, the videos show wrecks caused by unsafe driving. These videos are quite graphic and designed to wake people up. They do not do a thing to prevent any accidents, but are designed to make people think about unsafe driving habits and act appropriately. The symbolism contained in much of Ezekiel can be cumbersome to, cumbersome, to say the least. Here, the prophet was describing the judgments that were coming to the rebellious Israelites. When God informed the prophet 
that he would lay the iniquity of the people of Israel on Ezekiel, he was not saying Ezekiel would pay the price for them. His intention here was to simply illustrate to the Israelites the judgments that were coming because of their rebellion. On the other hand, we do have one upon whose account our iniquities are laid. That, of course, is the Lord Jesus Christ. No amount of good works, obedience, or sacrifice by us will ever pay the price under the covenant of the New Testament. Jesus was the payment God required, and he paid the payment in full. God's grace paid it, and our faith makes us recipients of that payment. And our final thought is, we sure like to judge the Old Testament believers for constantly abandoning God, yet we are no better. However, despite ourselves, God never abandons us. So keep that in mind in your darkest and loneliest moments in life. Just know that God is there with you. Just reach out to him, call upon him, and he will answer you. He will direct your ways. He will lighten your heart. He will carry the burden that you carry. Trust in him, have faith in him, and call upon the name of Jesus. And you will feel eternal love. You will feel the weight lifted off your shoulders. It doesn't solve all of our earthly problems, but it guarantees you an eternal reward. So I hope that today's devotion helps you. It gives you something to think about, take it with you through the rest of your day, and apply it to your life and share it with others. So until tomorrow, I hope you have a blessed day. Take care. Goodbye.